All right, guten tag everybody. Uh, we got a little uh, bodybuilding for you today. Uh, welcome to the Bears Gym, uh, my humble little abode for uh, Bible study and bodybuilding. And uh, we're going to have just a quick little scripture today in 1 Thessalonians. And uh, today's going to be uh, starting out our second session of bodybuilding. We're moving into the 200 series and uh, uh, level uh, one was more for the uh, beginner to intermediate. Now we're going to go uh, a little bit towards the uh, mid-range uh, bodybuilders and uh, workout enthusiasts. And uh, today we're going to start out with uh, arms and we might even throw a couple other little ditties in there just to uh, keep it exciting. Uh, but we're going to have just a little uh, scripture reading from the Bible in uh, 1 Thessalonians. And uh, has a lot to do with bodybuilding, has a lot to do with spiritual endurance, has a lot to do with character. A very short, uh, we're just going to read uh, probably uh, one verse uh, and then give a little chewing of the flab. Uh, a little... Uh, instruction of that verse and then we're going to move right into some arms and uh, so here we go uh, reading from the King James Version 1st Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6 and ye became followers of us and of the Lord having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost Okay, what does that mean? You became followers of us and of the Lord. Obviously, I am a born-again Christian, and I believe in following the Lord. And uh, if you are not, it's just a matter of choice in here, and a few words out here, and uh, the Lord will accept your prayer, and you become one too. Uh, it's very simple, and it's just a matter of getting on the trail, putting on your spiritual backpack, and uh, walking the walk, okay? And uh, this little scripture is about understanding character, discipline, and joy through afflictions, through tribulations, through hardship, through sufferings. Um, if you've been around somebody who is in their senior years, uh, whether he's a bodybuilder, a preacher, or a Christian, godly man, godly woman, um, and they've stood the test of fire, and the test of fire isn't so much uh, when we look in Acts, you know, and uh, the Holy Spirit fell as of tongues of uh, fire upon each person. And that's true, and that's good. But realize, when you come into Christianity, that's when the fire really begins. But when the fire really begins, that's when you start to understand this creation, the purpose for our being here, joy, happiness. You start to understand that. Because as you go through afflictions, as you go through trials, as you go through tribulations, both from the world, from Satan, and character building uh, uh, chastisings or tribulations or testings from the Lord, they build your character. And you, f you learn to do the right thing, even when everybody around you is doing the wrong thing. Okay, And that builds character in here. And that's what it says. And you received the word in much affliction, much affliction, much affliction, with the joy of the Holy Spirit. The King James says, Holy Ghost, we in the New Testament era right here now in, in the United States and America and the world, we're more kind of accustomed to um, describing um, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God as the Holy Spirit. Either way, uh, in German, you know, you got the Heiligen Geist, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit. Um, and uh, uh, in either case, it is through the one, uh, through God, through the one true God, Jesus Christ. And um, he is the only way. And when we uh, come through him, when you come through the right path, you find truth. If you come through the wrong paths, uh, all the through the isms and the Allahs and the isms and the udims and all that, if you go through the wrong paths, 
You you experience things that people say are truth and are wisdom, but they are not the truth. It's like a counterfeit dollar bill. You know, you can uh, whip out. This isn't a dollar bill, but you know, I'll use this as an example. Uh, you can whip out a counterfeit dollar bill, go to the store, and buy something, but it's a counterfeit. Okay, and it has things wrong with it because it's not real. And the only real quote. Religion, because Christianity really is not so much a religion, it's a person. Christianity is a relationship with Jesus Christ. When you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, you've entered Christianity. And when you begin to obey him, walk with him, talk with him, love him, you are demonstrating that you are a disciple of Jesus Christ. If you don't obey him and you continue to practice sin, then you pretty much demonstrate that you refuse to follow Jesus Christ and you've made your own deeds known. That's another matter. Okay, but when you get on board, when you get on the trail, on the right trail with Jesus Christ, it's the trail of truth. And you will find eternal life at the end of that trail. And not only at the very end of that trail, you experience it now. It's just we happen to be enjoying it in this flesh which is difficult at times, um, but it's necessary for character building. Okay, kind of like uh, if you give a child everything he wants throughout his whole uh, upbringing as a child, eventually you wind up having a brat, okay? And we know that as parents, you know that. You know, if you just, you know, little Johnny or little Susie's in the store crying, you know, head off, and you keep stuffing them candy every time they go to the store, eventually you just create a monster. But you just tell little Johnny or Susie, you be quiet now, you're not getting that. And when they refuse to listen, then you give them a little discipline on the rear end so they understand when you say no, you mean no. And that's what God does with us. You know, he says no. And if we continue down that road, whoop, he gives us a little help on the spiritual rear end uh, and gets our attention. Sometimes it's through um, hard times, sometimes it's through depression, sometimes it's through sorrow, or, uh, worldly sorrow, um, sometimes it's uh, through bodily afflictions, uh, work, so forth, and just, just the, the sheer fact that you're sad, you know, uh, you you're feel separated, that guilt, the condemnation, and God gets our attention that way to kind of get us uh, fixing our eyes upon him. Okay, anyway, enough said. That is our uh, little mini Bible study for bodybuilding time. And uh, we're going to have a little cup of joe here. Okay, hope you don't mind. It's just a little coffee. Nothing fancier than that. And uh, we're going to transfer uh, the uh, movie camera here over just a little bit so we can get a little broader of a, of a view, I think. I don't want to keep you too far in the dark way over here, so we're going to transfer you. I hope you don't mind. And uh, I'm going to try and get it so that you can see most everything that we're doing here. And I'm probably going to wind up having to uh, swing my weights around where I have them. And, uh, but I think, I think you can get a good understanding of what we're doing from where I have you there, and I might just spin you just a hair over to my favorite place over here. This is my uh, dumbbell area, okay? And that's kind of the beginnings of uh, uh, most all of my workouts in the upper body uh, range. Upper body range always uh, pretty much starts with uh, some dumbbell curls, triceps, a little abs, and I'm hoping you'll be able to see everything, and if not, uh, uh, we'll wing it, okay? We are in, right now, as you're entering my workout, we're entering the second uh, phase of the workout. We've done uh, three uh, uh, flush multiple sets over in this end. Uh, we've already uh, begun into the center section, and then uh, we'll be moving on to this uh, third section here. But we're kind of halfway through uh, the second group, and that's where you're kind of picking up. So uh, today is arms day, and so with that, we're going to get right into some arms here. And I'm hoping this uh, 
session is going to be around about an hour, maybe more, maybe less. And uh, just to kind of give you a good understanding of uh, arm workout, uh, if, you, if you watch a few of the 100 series, uh, that will give you kind of on board with some warm ups and so forth. And now we're kind of moving into, into the mainstay of the workout here. So here we go. All right, there we go. All right, we're gonna keep the rep around five. And we're gonna try and get a lot of different sets in there, anywhere from five to seven sets. We're gonna kind of work in here. And this is arms day, but we might get some abs in there. We might even throw a little bench in there just to kind of keep it exciting. But predominantly, this is arms day, so we're going to try and, try and stay focused with arms today. So curls. extensions okay and uh, once again um, we're gonna keep the reps right around five just something comfortable so we can work uh, work in all the sets that we want because we want to do a lot of various exercises so if you're doing 12 to 21 reps with six or seven sets you'll be out here for about five hours so <laughs> So we're gonna get in here and try and keep it around five uh, reps. And you can move your weights. You know, we got uh, 45, 50 pounds here, something like that. And uh, you can move it up, you can move it down, whatever you want. Whatever's comfortable to you, okay? We're not trying to tear any tendons today. Just something nice, happy, and comfortable. Okay, here we go. triceps. So we had dumbbell curls, single arm dumbbell curls, okay, and we went to triceps. Now we're going to shake it up just to here, and we're going to move over to just a little bench, just to kind of throw us off a little bit, keep it exciting. You don't have to add these in here if you don't want to, but I'm going to today, just for the joy of doing a little bench in the midst of our arm workout. That's a nice little stretch, nice smooth movement. Once again, right around five reps. Now we are uh, going to move into some easy curls, we're going to flip it around, we're going to go to some easy triceps, and then I have the straight bar over here, I'm going to bring that over and we're going to do some straight bar curls, which are kind of a nice thing to add in there, hopefully you can see this. Do some curls and we're going to move right into triceps. That's nice, comfortable sets. Now we got 
some triceps here. And we're trying to give the bar a little kiss with our forehead. Don't bog yourself in the head. Just kind of set it down there nicely. Just a little kiss. And extend them out with the old triceps. There we go. Looks pretty good. Alright. Now I think I'm going to swing the bar over here so you can see. Okay. I'm going to move the straight bar over here. And we're going to have our uh, grips facing out, okay? And uh, moderate width on the bar. There's something nice and comfortable. Something that feels kind of good. There we go. Just a nice, comfortable wrap. Three, four, five. All right. Okay, well, we got some arms, did a little bench, we uh, had some easy curls, straight bar, and uh, now we're going to do just a little bit of abs here. I don't know if you can see it up so high. I think we might even bring it down just a notch and uh, I think we are going to do that. We're going to bring the camera down a notch because I'm not sure really if you can see what's going on from up there. hope you don't mind me doing that. Okay. This might give you a, a little better perspective. Alright. You and me can talk. We can have a game, a game of truth. We can chew the flab in between the sets, understand a little discipline, work our arms. It's going to be good. Okay, now I'm going to do just a few crunches here, right on the bench. Just going to kind of meet my legs here, five to seven reps. You can do 100 if you want. This is just kind of so you get an, get an idea. So here we go. All right, just a few crunches here. All right. Just something to work the whole upper torso. As people like to say, work your core, you know. Uh, we're gonna work our whole core, our whole body, our whole torso, all right. Anyway, that takes a little balance, but it's kind of nice, keeps you up off the floor, and uh, you can do it however you want. But uh, anyway, we're going to chew the flab just a sec here, and then we're going to move right back in. These are the same weights. We were in the kind of the second set of the second flush group of our uh, arm workout. And uh, this next one then will be the third set, and then we're going to up the weights just a hair, and we're going to go at it again best we can. So, but chewing the flab about character. Character isn't so much what you do up on a stage, uh, up on a podium, um, in front of a class. Uh, character is mostly what you do when nobody's looking and when only God is looking. That's character. And that to please God, you do the right thing even when nobody is looking. Character is good for us. It helps us to understand the nature of God. Because there's one thing that God cannot do, is lie. 
And one of the other things that God will not do is he's not going to exercise favoritism one over the other. If you sin, you will be held accountable for that sin, regardless of how much good you've done in the past. If you sin, you will be held accountable for that. So the best thing to do is just get out now. Get whatever you're into, whatever you're doing, just get out now. Uh, I realize life is difficult and we go in many different places. And uh, sometimes even when you're doing the right thing, you, know, you get your tail in a pinch and it was, you were just doing the right thing and it just happened to turn out wrong and it makes you look stupid, but you continue on um, because you're trying to do the right thing. Um, but you want to do the right thing. Okay, and so... Um, and that is always the right thing. <laughs> That's kind of a paradigm of many of the same uh, sentences there. Um, but doing the right thing in obedience to God's word. And one of the reasons we have such a troubled youth society is they've, uh, our society, our media, even the churches, you go to church, you know, you go to church, you know, five times, and, uh, you know, we have... Uh, uh, plays and song services and uh, skits and those are all good and fine uh, but after you go there five times eventually you need to crack into the Word of God and have a hour-long Bible study or something so that you're getting people fed and getting into it you know if you're going to church and you ain't getting fed the Word of God and then you go out into society and they you know you watch a movie or something that's like there's no mention of God virtually at all uh, there certainly is no mention of the Word of God, the Scriptures, Jesus Christ, repentance. Uh, and so you're not going to get fed the Word of God in the movies and the media. So you you, you got to make it uh, a point for yourself on a daily basis to open up God's Word and dig into it. And that way, when you get to that testing point, you can do the right thing. There's the right thing again. Anyway, uh, time for uh, more workout. This is uh, round three of our second set and you you came in on the round two of the second set now this is round three here now we're keeping the weights uh the same and i'm hoping that the, the height is good for you there it's a good for low good for high and uh we're gonna probably leave it right there that's the best all right here we go Back to some arm curls. Five reps. Now we're going to go to uh, triceps. We're going to relocate you again. Hope you don't mind. It's always fun to relocate. People like doing relocations because it's fun. All right, that's pretty good. All right, triceps. Here we go. Triceps. Okay, we're going to be doing some bench now. Hopefully, you can capture this. Oh, that's a pretty good level there. I think you'll be able to capture pretty much whatever we're doing. That's good, I think.
those are going to be pretty much retired until our next workout time. We're going to be moving up to the next weight class here. Okay, we got arms, we got tricep, we got bench, now we're going to do some arms again here. Biceps again. There we go. Kiss the old forehead. There we go. Back to straight bar. All right, moderate grip. We'll finish off this round. There we go. some crunches here. I don't know if you do crunches at your place. Sit-ups, leg lifts, leg extensions, whatever works for you and you enjoy, you do it. Change it up occasionally, kind of throws your body off, makes it work a little bit harder. It's nice to work, work out and uh, a semi-changing seasonal thing like every three months kind of change up your workout it kind of shocks your body if you kind of get into a a lull you know where you're you know just uh it's just not fun change it up a little bit you know throw in something that you're not used to doing you know throw in some cleans uh do some changes you know uh it's kind of fun. Here we go. Alright. Here we go. We got uh, some abs. And we're going to move into our next section here. Here we go. How you doing out there so far? So good? Okay. If you need a little water, you go get you a little water. I'm gonna get myself a little coffee. Here's some coffee. All right. Our next section here. We're gonna be uh, up in the weights just a hair. I hope that's okay for you. And uh, if you're not comfortable with that, 
Just stay right where you're at. All right. Here we go. Coffee's good, but don't forget water. Need a little bit of water. All right. Okay. Okay. Numbell curls. Here we go. All right. All right. Left hand, right hand now. good here. We're going to move into triceps. All right, here we go. All right. Now we're going to move the bench. Just throw a little happy bench in there. Just to kind of shake it up a little bit. So our time's doing. Okay, time's pretty good. It's okay. We're gonna move it for bench. All right. All right. Back over here. Hope you don't mind me moving around a little bit. All right, there we go, okay. Okay, you can see me from over there. All right, now bench. Once again, this is just happy time bench. It's not bench day. We're just kind of throwing it in to have a little fun. So keep it around five reps. Here we go. Nice and smooth.
I said, we got to up our weights a little bit. So, going to have to have you hang on for a bit. And we're going to add some weight here. We're going to add just enough weight. I think I'm going to give you the eye in the sky here while we do uh, weight additions. All right, there's the eye in the sky. There you go. I'm not going to throw too much on here. Just enough to add a little more fun to our workout. Straight bar done, now we gotta do the easy curl bar. I realize this is not a very exciting part of your workout, but you know that's gotta be done. It's kinda like going on a, a long trip. And it's really fun driving for long periods of time, but no, eventually you gotta stop and you gotta get gas. And uh, sometimes you gotta stop and get food. It's just part of a trip. Uh, so adding weight to a workout is kind of the same thing as a long trip. You gotta stop every now and then and uh, get a little gas. So that's kind of what we're doing. Momentary break into action. And then we'll be back with some curls and triceps on the easy curl. We're in good shape again. All right. Looking at our time, we are in pretty good shape. Okay. Easy curls. Triceps. I hope you can see me. Back to some 
straight bar. All right, moderate grips. Here we go. All right, we're gonna rack them. We're gonna rack them up, rack them up. Get a few crunches in here, and we might even chew the flap. Here we go, crunches. There. Okay. So once again, your repetitions. They can be wherever you want them. Sometimes I do 21s on the benches and the arms for a good pump day. Sometimes I'm in a three to five reps for strength day. Today we're kind of mid-range, five-ish, five to seven, whatever. And uh, if you're doing gi giant sets, it's hard to get super duper repetitions in there. Uh, Cause like I say, your workout is gonna be four or five hours long. If you wanna get a lot of different movements and do a lot of pyramiding with your weights, bringing your weights up, uh, you do that here. You better have a really big lunch before you hit the gym. And then when you're done at the gym, you're pretty much gonna be done for the day. And you gotta go to work you're going to be pretty uh, low energy and uh, borderline uh, over training. So if you're doing a lot of giant sets like today we're doing, you know, anywhere from five to seven different exercises and uh, it puts a good hurt on your body. You know, it's a cold day here in Wisconsin. It's, uh, you know, not frigid. Obviously you can't see my breath today, but you're in the 45 to 50 degree range and I'm, you probably can't see it, but I'm drenched from my socks to my hair, I'm drenched. And uh, if you know me, uh, I would have a hat on today, even in 40 or 50 degree weather, I like to wear a hat even when it's 70 degrees out, 80 degrees just because it collects the sweat and it's kind of nice and comfortable. Uh, but this having five to seven different uh, sets of movements in your uh, workout uh, really puts the hurt on, gets you doing a lot of different things. And uh, if you're not, if you think you're missing out, you know, in a, in, with your upper bicep or your lower bicep your mid range, just throw a lot of different kind of things in there and it'll, it'll work everything. And uh, so today is arms. And so uh, I did, uh, Dumbbells, standing, easy curls, with some easy curl triceps, and a straight bar. Uh, you can uh, also, and probably we will in the future again, uh, is do uh, seated uh, dumbbell curls. Uh, you can do seated uh, incline uh, dumbbell curls, where you kind of add an incline uh, with the dumbbell curls. Um, I say you can do preacher curls uh, with your uh, with your elbow kind of tucked in on a bench or on a preacher curl uh, machine. Uh, so there's a lot of different things you can kind of throw in in a in a workout. But 
five to seven, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of sets in one round. So anyway, we're going to have a little drink of water and we're going to go into another set here. Unfortunately, I drank all my coffee, so <laughs> I got to switch to water now. I don't know what you like to have for uh, breakfast or your pre-workout snack. I like to have a little Scooby protein drink or something. You know, not much, so you're not so full. You know, if you have a big steak dinner or you have some chicken breasts or whatever, those are all good, but they have a tendency to make you a little bit too full. And uh, kind of that when you do that, it kind of starts soaking up. Uh, your blood all kind of flows to your stomach, even if you give it an hour's rest. Your blood has a tendency to kind of uh, focus on digesting the food instead of, you know, getting throughout your body. And so I kind of prefer a Scooby drink, uh, uh, you know, uh, a little protein uh, powder, the RTDs or protein mix. Uh, uh, my wife likes the uh, yogurt uh, with uh, fruit and... Uh, uh, soy stuff in there and uh, that's kind of a nice little refreshing thing to have uh, also so whatever works for you if you like a big breakfast or a big lunch before you work out that's that's your business and uh, uh, I don't like too much uh, a little meat sometimes uh, but if you have too much meat then it's uh you know that's just you can just feel it in your stomach and uh, this not really good for your workout <laughs> Okay, we are in our second round of our third group. We had uh, three rounds of light uh, uh, flush giant sets down on this end. We had another three sets here. We had one set here. We're going to move into our second set. I don't know if time is going to allow us to go into our third set and then possibly even to our fourth and where we're adding a little more weight. Um, but we're going to try and keep it simple. So I don't want to, more than an hour, I think I'm going to lose you. So I think we're probably already pushing the hour envelope, but we're going to go for it anyway. So here we go. We're going to get our second, second set of our third round. Here we go. Right arm. All right. I don't know if you can see this or not, but we're going to be cranking some triceps here. Triceps, back to bench, curls, triceps, curls, and then some more crunches. Here we go.
All right, bench. I think you can see that we're gonna spin this around now. Matter of fact, we're gonna, we're gonna drop you down again. Hope you don't mind. So you get the full effect, you know? All right, bench. Once again, it's not designed to be bench day. It's designed just, just to have a little fun in the middle of an arm workout. So here we go. Bench. Now time for easy curls. Here we go. Triceps. Don't forget to kiss the forehead. Okay, time clock it says that we are up for the day. Unfortunately, we're gonna abide by that. So, may the grace of the Lord Jesus be with you in your bodybuilding, in your spiritual walk in Christ. And if you're a non-believer or you're backslidden, Change that today. Change it right now. Say, Jesus, forgive me. I love you. Help me follow you. It's very simple. Ask forgiveness. Admit it. Just admit it. You say, yeah, I'm guilty. Like the thief on the cross. Just admit it. He already knows. Just admit it. Yes, I'm guilty. Forgive me. And then realize he already loves you. It's time for you to love him, Jesus. I love you. And then, he's the creator of God. We were created to be his worshipers. Begin to be his worshiper and follow him. Abide in his word and you will be a disciple of his. God bless you, folks. Until next time from the Bears Gym, God bless you.